Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee for SNS Storm Chasers as we uh, take a look at Earl in the process of becoming a hurricane here. Uh, overnight, uh, it gained uh, strength. Pressures continue to fall. You can see on the satellite, we're just starting to get the first visible pictures here. Uh, but from off the infrared, the uh, system has taken on uh, the pretty uh, classic, almost circular look to it, and the uh, cir center of circulation is right about here in the core of the uh, convection that has been developing. And you, you can also see how it's it's pretty much staying on this westward course, although it has slowed down uh, from yesterday where it was moving at about 20, um, 20 21 miles an hour, uh, now moving uh, westward at about 14 or 15 miles an hour, but it's it's on course to move into Belize, or perhaps if it takes a little bit of a northward jog, maybe on the northern part of Belize, sometime uh, tonight into early thir very early Thursday morning. So we've got all kinds of hurricane warnings that are up, uh, and uh, the system will be moving inland and then gradually moving across. Now, I'm going to take you to a, a wider satellite picture here, and we'll get uh, the latest so we can get it get it uh, the latest data in here and there it is on the infrared you can see that red area the way the core of the convection and an eye has uh, was detected uh, overnight you can kind of pick it out right there it's like that little hook uh, so there's an eye developing here so everything says that this is becoming a um, hurricane and when we take a look at the uh, this is the reconnaissance aircraft report that was sent back the last one from this morning um, 992 millibar pressure so that's down from 996 uh, last night so it continues to deepen at about a, a one millibar uh, per hour which is a fairly steady deepening that's going on and the comments from the reconnaissance aircraft said maximum flight level winds of 56 knots um, so uh, you know it, it's getting there uh, everything here suggests uh, that um, this is going to be a hurricane uh, before too long, and it's at 16.2 north. This was where the reconnaissance aircraft found the center at 16. Point, I'm sorry, 16.3 north and 84.1 west. Uh, so uh, all on course. And when we look at the GFS model, which has finally actually picked up on the idea of a wrapped up system, you know, these tropical systems are never really shown to be deep enough. Um, by the by the global weather models and you can see it moves inland into northern Belize and then just kind of emerges briefly into the Bay of Campeche and then just uh, the core of it moves inland uh, and dissipates over Mexico and in fact a lot of that the, the moisture is going to eventually emerge on the other side and the hurricane center has already indicated that when it gets on the Pacific side that uh, they're gonna have to watch it once it goes off the coast of Mexico so um, very interesting set up uh, the uh, tropics right now uh just want to go back to the uh, satellite picture here and I, I, i'll show you i'll stretch it out there's another wave and you can you can see it right here and we still have right in through here there is an upper low and it's kind of elongated now northeast southwest you can see the turning here so it's really dictating the steering pattern across much of the tropics once you get west of 40 or 45 west so that uh, one wave that that you see that here is getting continues to get sheared apart as it moves westward convection tries to develop but all the cloud tops are getting blown off to the northeast and then you have the second wave which is fairly well defined uh, a little bit further south um, it, it actually is going to run into some of the same shearing conditions unless this upper low pulls out of the way so uh, these are the uh, problems you have to deal with when it comes to these tropical systems. And you, uh, I'm just going to show you, there's Hurricane, uh, almost Hurricane Earl. And I'm going to see if I can try to stretch this out. I don't think I can, but you can see Hurricane Earl here, and you can see the cloud tops being sheared off to the northeast with this upper low. So uh, the tropical storm development going forward, of course, is always going to depend on the upper air conditions and how much shearing environment uh, how the shearing environment is here in the northwest caribbean right now where earl is the shearing is extremely low water temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s i think this could get to easily 75 or 80 knots before it makes landfall uh still has some time it has a good 12 to 15 hours before it has 
uh, it makes any landfall. Now, just real fast in terms of our own weather, because there really isn't too much happening from our respect. Um, the next weather front is not going to be moving through here until Saturday. So we do have the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms uh, occurring Saturday uh, afternoon across uh, the southern areas of the northeast and the northern and mid-Atlantic states and then um, moving further south as we move into Saturday night into Sunday before the next high pressure area builds in. It's a pretty benign pattern and I think the uh, next question will be for later next week because it does look like we will be getting into some heat for a few days anyway beginning on uh, Wednesday perhaps and then taking us into um, Friday and then the next weather front possibly the following weekend. So we might have uh, two or three days or three or four days of heat and humidity coming back for later next week. So have a good day. We'll keep our uh, eyes on what goes on with um, Hurricane or almost Hurricane Earl. I think it will probably be a hurricane uh, by this afternoon. And, uh, of course, enjoy the beautiful weather that we have here in the Northeast and in the Mid-Atlantic States. SNS Storm Chasers for all the latest on your severe weather. And, of course, all kinds of weather things available at meteorologistjoechaffee.com. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at that same name. I'm at Twitter, at Joe Chaffee. And when you're on my uh, website, download my weather app and uh, install it on your Apple or your on your iPhone or your Android.